So let's talk a little bit about dry food. And we know that even before we get into the topic of dry food, how is it made? How is dry food actually made? You know, you get a kibble over there. How do they actually make that? So extrusion. So extrusion is a very interesting process whereby they mix all the food together, all the nutrients, all the you know vegetables, carrots, um, meat, whatever that they want to put in. They mix it all together. Then at high heat, okay, um, the high heat, they it becomes a mess. It, it's like one whole big mush, so to speak. Then they compact it down. They flatten it until it's very, very flat, okay? Then I'll just say dry it. Then they chop it into pieces. So that is what's the meaning of extrusion. So it usually contains anything between 3 and 11% of water. So very, very little water. And it is a market leader. I mean, it's $8 billion worth sold in 2010. The advantage is that it is convenient, it is uh, cheap, and it is quite energy dense because they actually compact everything down into that layer before they chop it into pieces to be sold. The disadvantages is that it's low palatability because they use high heat. They have sometimes uh, taken the nutrients, or not, not nutrients, the nutrients as well, but not only the, the, the taste of it, um, and because they had to make it into that particular shape, they do use quite a high grain, a high amount of grain. And because also it's dry food, and even though it is dehydrated, chopped into little pieces uh, to be sold as kibble, they still have to somehow preserve it so, uh, so that it actually lasts, so that when you open up a bag of dog food, it doesn't just go off in the same day. So they got to add preservatives to it. So this is just a little... Um, Victoria to really hone in the whole answer of, okay, are the food meant for us or for the dogs? The colors, do they even matter? Uh, considering dogs, they, they, the color spectrum is much lesser than ours, making it multicolor does make a difference to the, um, to the dog. Okay, let's talk a little about wet food. So how is it made? So, Similarly, the ingredients are, are all mashed in together and they're heated to sterilize, which means it goes at least 77 degrees Celsius, okay? And they mix all the ingredients together and it's usually 60 to 78% of water. I mean, that is a lot of water considering um, dry food also only 3 to 11%. So what it really, really means is that there is a lot of water inside that and hence when wet food, it is more expensive because you buy them in pouches, you buy them in tins, you buy them in sort of quantities, um, you're actually really buying water, really. Or you're paying the extra for water. So one advantage is that it is highly palatable. It is quite high in protein, okay? Uh, because uh, it is still moist, they have not really lost a, uh, the, the, the sort of uh, the taste yet, the, the water content. Uh, it is quite high in protein as well. One disadvantage is that it certainly needs higher volume because it's not as compact like the um, dry food, it needs higher volume, you have to eat more, or rather your dog has to eat more to get the same amount of energy compared to little cables. It's more expensive. Um, higher spoilage because it's um, not dry, so you know, it's wet, so it does attract, uh, sort of, uh, it does increase the rate of spoiling, especially in summer weather. And it's also linked to weight gain because um, you know people that tend to feed more. They think it is, uh, uh, it is, uh, uh, it's better. It's and and they think that the the animal may need more. And certainly the animal. And fundamentally, your dog is having more of the water content of it. So, does your dog prefer wet food or dry food? And something to think about is that. Um, What's the difference apart from the water content? Sometimes it's even been said that if you have your dry food and you add in water and soak it up, that becomes wet food. So, you know, go figure. And we all know that dry food is certainly much more cost effective than wet food.